wrecked his vehicle and took another vehicle to continue the pursuit. A domestic dispute leads to a wild chase throughout El Paso and surrounding areas. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Natasha Paloma. The suspect led police on a chase throughout El Paso, carjacking two vehicles along the way. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap starts off our team coverage tonight. She's live in Socorro, where one of those vehicles was carjacked, and she has details about what led up to that chase. Shelby. Natasia, I'm here on Socorro Road where that first crash and carjacking took place. And as you can see, it is still an active scene out here this evening. But the sun has set and it's pretty dark out here. Now, the vehicles involved in this crash are still on this road, but you can't see them. So go ahead and take a look at this video that we took earlier in the day where it was the daylight. You can see that silver SUV that's wrecked along with that black truck. Now, police say that that was the original one, but the suspect was driving when he fled. But now this all started with a domestic violence call at a home in Socorro. Here you can see the video of law enforcement outside of the house. Now the chief of the police for the city of Socorro says the suspect fled the home in that black truck leading police on a chase. Uh, the officers on scene attempted to talk this individual into coming outside of the residence. And at about 10:31. Uh, that individual fled the residence in a, mo in a motor vehicle and then began a pursuit uh, which to initially took us out onto Socorro Road. Now, according to the Socorro police, the El Paso bomb squad was also called when they smelled gas coming from inside the home after that suspect fled. Now, authorities believe the suspect turned the gas on. Now, a fall this crash and carjacking that happened here. The suspect continued to flee. Another carjacking took place, and then the suspect crashed on I-10, which is where my colleague Christina Aguayo is to continue our team coverage. Christina? Yes, this is where it all ended, right here on I-10, near Loop 375 in a multi-vehicle crash. As you can see, the scene has been cleared. It is no longer active, and I-10 westbound is back open. However, that was not the case earlier today as at least 50 different vehicles from multiple different agencies were on site. When we arrived, we saw a man on a stretcher being loaded into an ambulance. You should be able to see that video right there on your screen. Chief David Burton with the Socorro Police Department confirmed that the man on the stretcher was indeed the, man, the suspect in the car chase. However, he did not reveal if the 27-year-old man had been shot or was injured in the crash. According to Chief Burton, and after the suspect carjacked those two vehicles, he led police on a chase in and out of neighborhoods, shooting at officers in pursuit and bystanders multiple times. Chief Burton said seven different agencies were involved in apprehending the man, including Texas State Troopers and Border Patrol. He also said officers fired back at the suspect, which is why he said the local county sheriff's office and the Texas Rangers are conducting independent investigations on use of force. The criminal side of things will be Socorro Police Department. Uh, because we used force uh, during this pursuit, then the sheriffs on the local level, on the county level, will be handling uh, an outside agency investigation into our use of force. And then on the state level, ultimately, the Texas Rangers will also do an investigation into the use of force. Chief Burton said no other injuries have been reported at this time. Reporting live in Far East El Paso, Christina Ohio, KTSM 9 News. Christina and Shelby providing us team coverage tonight. Thank you both. Well, three people are dead.